Hello everyone. Today's session focuses on some of the most important user-facing tools in Salesforce that help improve productivity, streamline navigation, and automate actions directly from the UI. We will start by understanding what list views are and why they are essential for managing and analyzing Salesforce data. We will discuss the key features including filtering, sorting, grouping, and column customization, all designed to help users access data quickly and meaningfully. Next, we will learn how to create custom list views and tailor them to specific roles or tasks. We will also cover how sharing works, ensuring teams can collaborate efficiently by using standardized views. We will discuss how to optimize list views for performance by displaying only necessary fields, applying effective filters, using Salesforce caching mechanisms. This helps reduce load times and maintain a smooth user experience, especially in large data environments. This section sets the foundation for enhancing usability and launching automated tasks. You will learn best practices and get real-world examples to see how businesses streamline operations through interactive elements. By the end of today's session, you will be well equipped to design and configure Salesforce user interfaces that are not only functional, but also intuitive and tailored to your user's workflows. List views are customizable tables that display records from a Salesforce object, such as leads, opportunities, or cases, based on filters and fields that the user chooses. They help users view only the records they care about, take mass actions like editing multiple records at a time, easily filter, sort, and organize data. For example, a sales rep can create a list view called My Open Opportunities to only show opportunities assigned to them that are currently in an open stage. List views are customizable, filterable, and can be made real-time and efficient. It saves time by reducing the need to open individual records. It helps users prioritize and act on the right data. It enhances decision-making through quick data analysis. In the previous slide, we introduced the concept of list views. Now let us take a closer look at the core features that make list views such a powerful productivity tool in Salesforce. The key features include filtering, sorting, grouping, column customization. Let us understand each of these options in detail. Users can apply filters to show only records that meet specific conditions. For example, view only open cases with a priority of high created in the last seven days. Filters can be based on pick list values, dates, text, checkboxes, and more. Sort records by any field in ascending or descending order. For example, sort opportunities by close date to focus on deals closing soon. The other important feature is grouping. While standard list views show rows of data, Kanban view lets users group records visually. For example, we can group leads by status. It helps track progress across stages. Users can select which fields to display in their view. For example, a sales user may show opportunity name, amount, stage, and close date while hiding fields like record ID and or owner email. This keeps the interface clean and relevant. These features help reduce noise and improve focus. They enable data-driven decisions and they save time with cleaner, personalized views. In the next slide, we will see a demo on how to use these features in detail. For this demonstration, I have loaded around 1000 records on position object. In order to view list views, you will go to the positions tab. By default, Salesforce provides you a recently viewed list view and a all list view. When you go to all list view, it will show you all the records that are there in this object. So in order to create a list view, you'll click on the gear icon and then click on new button. So this will give you a user interface where you will enter the metadata for the list view. I'll call this list view as open remote positions IT. So I want to create a list view which shows all the IT positions which are remote. So for this, I'm creating a list view with this metadata name. We will come back to the sharing in some time. I'll click on save. Now, once you click on save on the right side, you will have an option to add additional filters. I want to add a filter by clicking on add filter. By default, Salesforce gives you filter by owner. So for this requirement, I want to see all positions. I'm selecting all positions. So my positions typically gives you the records that are owned by the user who is running. This. So I want all positions. That's why I'm selecting all positions. Then I'll click on add filter. Now I want to check if the position is remote. So on my object, I have a field called is position remote. If it is equal to true, then it means that it is a remote position. The second filter that I want to add here is to check the position functional area because that actually tells whether it is an IT position or not. So I'm going to functional area if it is equal to information technology. I want to give only the open position. The position has some a field called stage which tells whether the position is open or not. So I'm using stage field. If stage is equal 
not equal to rejected if it is not equal to rejected then it means that it is an open position and i'll click on save so by default all these filters uh, have signed logic so if you want to change the logic so you can click on add filter currently it is having condition like one and two and three you can use three logical operators in your filter logic and or and not so currently i want all these conditions to be met that's why i'm saying one and two and three and I'll, once i'm satisfied i'll click on save so this will give me the positions that are remote currently it is displaying only the position name i want to display additional columns for that i'll click on gear icon and there is an option to select fields to display i'll click on that for this i will select position name then i'll select the location of this position the job level then technical skills then min and max pay and i'll click on save now this list view gives me the remote positions that are open in information technology similarly assume that i want to create the internship positions related to finance and which belong to emea location so for that i can create one more list view i'll go to the setup icon click on new button i want to call this as finance internship positions specific to emea so here i can add filters so the functional area should be finance so there is a field called position type which tells whether the position is internship, full-time or part-time. So I want only internship positions. I'll go to internship and I'll also add the location because I want only EMEA specific data. So location equals EMEA. Uh, I also want to only show the positions which are active and open. So for that, I'll add the stage field if it is not equal to reject and click on save. So for this, I want to add some additional fields. So I'll go select fields the name of the position then created date time or open date job description and number of interviews needed I'll click on save so this will give me the relevant data now assume that i have a requirement to show the positions that require java and oracle skills so for that i can create a new i'll call this as positions requiring java and oracle i'll click on save add filter the first filter is technical skills because that is what i'm interested in if it is java or if it is oracle two values i'm selecting here and i want to also show open positions so i'll say position stage is not equal to rejected so let me this Display the columns before that let me save this display the columns position name functional area technical skills job level and stage so this way i can create list views based on my requirement so that i can see only the data that is important for me now you can also create some additional filters which are specific to date so assume that I want to create the positions that are created in last 30 days. So in that case, what you can do, you can create a new positions created in last 30 days. Click on save. Then you can add a filter on open date. Open date is equal to last 30 days. So you can say last 30 days, open date equals last 30 days. It will give me the positions which are open in last 30 days. So you can also add fields accordingly. Now that we have seen how to create and customize list views, let us explore how sharing them enhances collaboration and consistency across teams. Salesforce allows users or admins to share custom list views so multiple team members can access and work from the same data set. This provides a way to govern the list views that are being created. When creating or editing a list views, users can choose to share it to themselves, to a specific role or a public group, or with all users in the R. For example, a sales operations manager creates a list view called opportunities closing this month and shares it with the entire sales team. Sharing the list views ensures that teams view and act on the same filtered data. It supports unified KPIs and tracking across departments. It helps users to collaborate. So let us talk about a use case. A service team shares a high priority open cases list view with all agents to ensure everyone focuses on critical issues. It it promotes standardization of views across the org. It improves the team coordination and collaboration. It reduces time spent duplicating work or searching for data. Now let us see a demo on how to share. So I'm going back to my positions tab. Let me open one of the list view that I already created. So you can see all the list views when you click on drop down. So finance internship positions EMEA. Just I'm opening that and I can click on this share icon and here I have an option to click on sharing settings. So currently this list view is only visible to me because I created the list view. If you want it to be visible to all users in the system, you can click on all users can see this list view. So this will this list view will now be shown to all users within this organization. Or you can share it with a group of users. Assume that you created a public group or you already have some public groups created. You can share 
it accordingly. For example, I'm sharing this with channel sales team. So only the members of this channel sales team public group or role will be able to see this list view. So let me share this to all users for now and click on save. To reiterate, if you want to share a existing list view, you will open the list view, go to sharing settings and share it accordingly. Or while creating the list view, you get an option to share it with only you to all users in the system or to share with a specific group. In our earlier demonstrations, we have seen examples about filtering and column customization. Now let us talk about sorting. Sorting allows users to organize records in a table or list view by any field like numeric, text or date, uh, date fields, either in ascending or descending orders. Sorting is supported in table view. Let us see a demonstration. So I'm opening one of my list view that I created in my player demo. When I click on a particular column, uh, which has an arrow mark associated with it, like open date. So this is currently sorted in descending order. When I click it again, it will be sorted in ascending order. So you don't see that sorting functionality and job description because this is a text area field. Remember that only one field can be sorted at a time in the user interface. The other feature that uh, we have to discuss is grouping. Grouping is available when using the Kanban view in Salesforce. It allows users to visually categorize records into columns based on a selected pick list field. Grouping is only supported in the Kanban view, not in the table view. So currently you are seeing the table view. So in this, the grouping option is not available. If you want to group your data, so you can click on this view and click on the Kanban button. So this will allow you or enable the grouping functionality. You can now group by any of the pick list fields that are available on your object. Once you enable the Kanban view, so users can drag the records between groups to change their field values. For example, assume that I want to view the positions pipeline by stage. For that, I'll go to Kanban settings. In the group by field, I'm selecting stage. I'll click on save. So I'm selecting fields to display as position name, location, position type, and functional area. So this will display me multiple cards with each of the stage value. So if you see this view, it says that there are six positions that are in applied stage, three in the validated stage, five in the interview progress stage, seven in interview completed stage, and zero in rejected stage. Assume that I want to move one of the stage from validated to rejected, I can directly drag and drop it on the rejected. Assume that I want to create a new Kanban view called remote positions hiring progress. So I'll click on Kanban and for group, I'm selecting stage. I'll click on save. I can add a filter by going to filter section. I can say is position remote equals to true and I want to add one more filter where the stage is not equal to rejected. Now this will give me data where the position is remote and stage is not rejected. I'll click on save. So this way I can use a Kanban view, which actually gives me a very good visual representation of my data based on my filters and uh, based on my grouping settings. Now that we have covered our list views support collaboration, let us focus on performance optimization, ensuring list views are fast, responsive and user friendly. Well optimized list views help teams access the data that needed without lag, even in large data environments. By default, all the list views generate SQL queries, which may be expensive when your query is not selected. The key strategies for optimizing list view performance includes displaying only the essential fields. Avoid overloading the view with too many columns. Stick to the fields that users need for quick decision. For example, a list view for opportunities may only need the name of the opportunity, stage, amount, and close date. Not all 80 fields or 100 fields in that. When you are displaying a formula field, be very cautious because if you have a cross object formula field, then the query may become more expensive because it has to get into that parent object as well. Use filters to reduce the total number of records being loaded. Focus on relevant subsets of data to improve performance and usability. Use filters like status, created date, because created date is indexed, status is also indexed. So always try to use an indexed field so that you get the result at a faster Pace and Salesforce does not do a full table scan. Salesforce automatically caches frequently used list views to improve load times. Encourage users to reuse existing views instead of creating similar duplicates. It is always advantageous to have a proper governance and let admins create list views and share it across teams so that people reuse the existing list views 
instead of end users creating their own list views. If you follow all these guidelines, then your list views will be faster and they will not lead to any performance issues. Now let us see some example list views that can create performance issues. If you have limited set of data, all of these can work properly, but in future, uh, when the volume of your records increases, these list views could create performance issues. Always try to design your list views, keeping future in mind. Assume that I have a list view with all positions, with all columns. So the main issue in this particular list view is you don't have any filters. It will try to load or pull all the data from database. And you are also pulling all the columns in the position object. So say if you have 500 fields on position object, it is pulling all the fields. So the best way uh, is to actually apply some filters like stage equal to rejected and limit only five to seven columns. So multi-select pick lists are not indexable. So when you add more number of multi-select pick list conditions, so it may lead to full table scan. The ideal fix for this view is to add more filters like date filters or any other additional filters which are indexed with indexed fields and reduce the number of multi-select filters. Always avoid broad date range for your filters. Uh, you have a list view where you are saying recently opened positions in last 730 days. So this is going to return you all the records like worth two years. The ideal fix is to reduce the filter using the date literals like last 30 days or last 90 days. Uh, avoid, avoid using text area columns in your display logic because they may end up taking a lot of time for rendering. When you are using a Kanban view, try to use a pick list field which has less number of values. For example, if you create a list view with grouped by job level, we know that job level has like more than 20 unique values. So the Kanban view will be very cluttered and the UI will also be not responsive. So it is better to group by broader pick list like functional area. Now that we have explored standard buttons in Salesforce, there could be some requirements which will demand you for creating your own custom buttons because standard buttons provide the standard functionality and when your business requirements change you may be needed uh, you may be required to create custom buttons so in order to create effectively create and customize buttons in salesforce the first thing that you need to do is you need to understand the business requirements And once you have your business requirements, then you can start and create, start creating your own custom buttons. For example, a sales team may want to generate a proposal button or to want, want a generate proposal button that pre-populates a PDF from opportunity data. So when creating custom button, so there are certain aspects of the button that you need to understand. So let us go to position object, go to the buttons, links and action section and click a new button or new, new button or link. When you click on that, it provides you a metadata screen for buttons. So it will ask you to give a label. For example, I want to create a position button to say do background check. Or I'll call it as initiate background check. Using Salesforce, you can create a detail page link, detail page button or a list button. Detail page link can be used to create a link, custom link. Detail page button, when created, we can be placed on a page layout on the record. Maybe we do okay if it just one. 